And now back to Roger Cooper and the American Health Journal. There are many reasons why people develop congestive heart failure. Their heart may have been damaged or they may have medical conditions which contributed to the condition. We spoke with Dr. Vladimir Illich of Lee Memorial Health System to find out the diagnosis and the treatments available. Congestive heart failure is um, not a single disease. It's um, many different problems and diseases could lead to that. But it simplest would be that heart is not able to perform what it's supposed to do to supply organs with the blood. So it's inability of the heart to function well. Who is the typical heart failure patient? Typical patient with congestive failure is um, any from mid 60s to 70s and 80s. Uh, they might have uh, large heart attacks in the past so the heart strength is very low. Although uh, we see more and more people uh, who have actually normal strength of the heart and for various reasons heart cannot pump well, uh, things like um, arrhythmia like atrial fibrillation could lead to congestive heart failure. Some uh, problems with the heart muscle, uh, we call that big group of disease called a cardiomyopathy, but heart muscle is not proper and even the strength is good uh, might lead to inability of heart to work well. For people who are younger, uh, they could have some congenital problems with the muscles. So you can have people with congestive heart failure in their 20s and 30s. Also, too much alcohol, drugs could lead to the muscle injury. So one of the reasons of congestive heart failure is also alcoholic cardiomyopathy, which we unfortunately see fairly, fairly frequently. Dr. Illich discusses the symptoms. There are many symptoms of uh, congestive heart failure. The, the most typical one would be shortness of breath, meaning those people feel um, that breathing is not as easy and as, as before. One of the earliest symptoms would be when uh, those people lay down, they might have trouble breathing. So sometimes people, first symptoms actually, they find themselves sleeping in a recliner or, or sleeping upright because they are uncomfortable laying down. When patient comes to emergency room because he's very short of breath, that's the presentation usually, or swelling of their legs. You uh, first you try to um, make it easy on the heart to take away the f fluid uh, out, usually with uh, something called diuretics, uh, medication which uh, unload the heart in a way. So basically, people through kidneys uh, release some of the extra fluid. That's uh, immediate acute treatment. Uh, once we diagnose people with congestive heart failure, we want to know why they have congestive heart failure. That's diagnostic part and includes many diagnostic tests including from simple like EKG, then echo which is ultrasound of the heart and sometimes we also use uh, things like cardiac catheterization to find out if there's any blockages in the artery feeding the heart which is one of the most common reasons for the heart to fail these days. Once you have diagnosis the treatment varies but typically includes medication uh, something called ACE inhibitor and beta blockers which are medication trying to prevent a heart of getting any weaker. And uh, also you try to treat the uh, uh, primary reason for congestive failure. If the person has major coronary disease with uh, narrowing of the arteries, we try to open those arteries either by percutaneous intervention, which is known as stenting, or with bypass surgery if need be. For more information about Dr. Illich or the Lee Memorial Health System cardiac program, call 239-454-8725 or visit leememorial.org.